Hey guys, Mike and Terry here from Mike and Terry's Resale. Uh, we're back with another unboxing today. And uh, this is a big pallet that just came in. And I'm going to go ahead and start cutting it open right now. But Terry can give you the, the info. Give you all the specs on this one. This one came in this morning. It is a like new. So a like new pallet. Uh, it retails $1,950. We paid $733.41 to the door, which breaks it down to $13.58 per item, and there's 54 items in here. So, 54 items for, we're looking for $13.58 an item. So, we'll do easy math. Let's just say we're looking for $13.50 an item. Of course, Mike's coffee mug is is right here. In the I guess I better way. get that out of the way. I don't want to be getting any uh, packing random, dust and <laughs> random foreign matter in my coffee here. So. Okay. So let's see what we got here, right, Mike. Let's what we up. got? Okay, I'm gonna start peeking. Of course. All right, you go ahead. It's I, always I have like to get Christmas one, looking in here. Tip. Let's get this out of the way. Well, that's boring. I want to get this out of the way, All and right. then I'll get out of your way. So here we go. It is wow. That thing I don't is cool. know. It's cool. I don't know. I'm gonna. S I don't know if it's mislabeled, but it does say it's it's a crock pot. It's a nice crock pot. Um, it might be mislabeled because on the side somebody wrote with a black marker: "Food stays hot outside, does not." That's not somebody wrote. That's part of the. That's the marketing slogan. <laughs> that's the marketing slogan. <laughs> You know, it's always comical with this one over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if anybody wants a crock pot that the food stays hot, but the outside <laughs> does not, not, this is what you need. This is here. It is. Okay. okay by the way, it is factory sealed. All right. We're set. So you know, there's the there's the crock pot okay. for you. I'm gonna go for these. Okay. And the reason is. Um, not that it really matters, but hey, look, Christmas wrapping paper or something. Okay. Um, we actually just had a customer a couple of days ago that got the baby wipes from us out of that pallet that was pouring down rain that you probably saw the video on. Anyway, she asked specifically asked us if we had any diapers coming in size one. Look at that. Size, size one. one. You okay. know what, Mike, since you mentioned that pallet pouring rain. Yes. Oh, the toy pallet. The yeah. toy pallet. And we said in two videos, we will give you those numbers. So let's just give them the numbers now. Oh, you want to do it now? And or? then later on in the video, we do have something else we'd like to share with you. Folks. Okay. So okay. there's the pamper, size one. She is going to be excited when we get a hold of her today. Um, like the baby wipes. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's sealed. Yeah, but like baby wipes uh, being sold out. Diapers are sold out. They're hard to get. So... That toy palette, we said we'd share the specs with you with a uh, hundred unknown items and we ended up with all the bug nets that were tagged with the store, the store tags are still on them for a dollar each. Yeah. So we paid $9.22 for that palette. So far we've gotten out of it $703. We have 428 more that's already posted. Everything's posted. So 428 more that's already posted waiting to sell, which would bring our total to 1131. So we would only get a profit of $209. Sometimes that's the way it so, goes. As of that, yes. We had 99 unknown items <laughs> in that, you know, that just really were very, very low item, low value. Do we know a piece count how many items we've sold? I know I did not put that okay. down for for you. Last I knew, we we're in the low fifties. I so think we have that, a lot of we we actually correct. have sold some of those bug nets, but the problem is with the bug nets, they were manifested at nine ninety nine each, unknown. They were tagged uh, with the store tags for a dollar, one dollar from Target. So we have sold. We of course we took a loss at that. Six nets for three dollars. So as I 
Hey, we got to get going. Show I see something down. super, okay. super so, exciting. We, we have some more stuff to share, though. We'll do that later on. What do we got here? What do we got? I don't oh, care we got about a, that. We got a carafe. I am it's pumped up. It's just a coffee carafe. It's a glass one. I do remember this. That's manifest. A a it, replacement. A replacement. It's a replacement. This will probably end up. I mean, we'll try Perfect it locally, eBay but item. it will be an eBay item. So there it is. It's brand new. If you break your coffee pot, where do you go for a replacement carafe? eBay. eBay. Okay. Or just buy a stainless steel carafe. Right, Moving on. There you go. I am really excited about this, you guys. What you got? I'm not even kidding you. This. I'm not. I'm not joking. I am excited. You never know with Mike. Oh, it's factory sealed. What do we got? Coffee. <laughs> we got coffee. And it's not expired. October 28th. These okay. are um, K-Cups for Keurig. Which... There you go. You guys may have figured out by now that I like coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. And uh, we, we make a couple of pots every day. But in the afternoon, if I decide I need one more cup, it's always to the Keurig I go. Yes. So... We may just hold on to those ourselves. There we go. And of course, look at, look at me. It's showing the ocean and a lighthouse. Oh, that man. is just right up tropical. our alley. This is we tropical. got tropical coffee. What does it say on the bottom? There's something written on there. I, I don't it's know. It looks like a it's shipping got a, label with it's numbers. Got a date and time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, there's Mike's coffee. We may have to keep that one now out of here. Uh, just a small purple bath rug, and that string actually doesn't belong to no, this. No, it's just stuck on the it's tag. It's stuck on the tag from another item. Okay. I'll peel that, get that off later, a white string. But anyhow, just a small little bath, purple bath rug. Well, here's an open box there you go. that uh, was sent to Bed Bath & Beyond Returns Processing Center. Oh, we've had these before. I had so many messages on these. It oh, yes. Absolutely ridiculous. These are little plastic bins. Um, that you, they just kind of snap together, and people use them for, like, shoe storage. Uh-huh. My guess is... I think is, they're really cool because they're hard. My guess is, I mean, this is open, but I'm assuming somebody just got these and then... Uh, Probably didn't even put it together. You remember that one? <laughs> For all we know, he could see it. Or maybe somebody else remembers this person, too. Hey. That one YouTube video we watched, and the guy had all of the Nikes, and he had a wall of all of these shells, cubbies, behind him, and he had all of his like yes. collectible Nikes in there, and it was just this huge wall. I don't, I don't remember, remember his name now. I don't remember who it was. I think maybe I might have subscribed to him. I don't, I don't remember. Subscribing is important. <laughs> so, okay, let's just move this box back. Okay. Hey, and on that note, I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed to us, um, especially over the past several days since we won that contest. Um, we have actually picked up a lot of new subscribers, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you're watching this video, invite all your friends, have them come subscribe. We're really trying to grow this channel. And we um, are going to add in a lot of different videos. We will be adding whole other sections that have maybe have nothing to do with resale um, we also vacation pretty hard and we're going to add in other things in there too so um, lots more coming and uh, we're just excited to share all this content with you guys hey whoever's excited about states starting to reopen and things starting to open up. Exciting and scary all in one. Uh, yeah, it is. Exciting and scary all in one. But if you're if you're excited, just make a comment down below. Just say, I'm excited. I'm excited for the reopening. Let us know. Where did, is that a, see, that's not a Terry Friendly knife. That was not my knife. That's his knife. <laughs> so, no, my knife is good. That was my so, broken one. I guess it's time to get rid uh, of that one. Just, just give us a, a comment real quick on... If you're excited, I'd love just to kind of get an idea how everyone's feeling on that, okay? So, we got another small purple rug here. Why it was in a bag is um, because it is no tags. It's clean. It's it clean. It, like it is. No, it looks clean. It just looks like new without tags. We'll put it together with so that one. So, we will, but the same size. 
Did we um? What what's our average item price price on this? Is that thirteen fifty eight? Thirteen dollars and okay. fifty eight cents. Well, I can tell you those rugs are not thirteen dollars. No. So I was saying we're gonna call it thirteen fifty for easy math. Let's see what we got. Ooh, these are nice. Wow. So if you're keeping coffee, am I keeping pillows? Coolest comfort. Those King are very size. nice. King size. Wow, these are really nice pillows. Ooh. You know, I know you guys can't really tell. It's not really the kind of item that you can tell by looking at it on the camera. Well, but let's are. see what the brand is. Nanotech, oh, Nanotech Fabric. Coolest Comfort. You know, does it does anything come up? Well, you know, sometimes you get know. a... There's a whole bunch of... This could be a $13 pillow, and this could be a $60 pillow. Nano. What do you call it? Coolest Comfort? Well, I think it's this. Let's find out while Mike's getting something else out here. I'm not getting anything else out. Oh. Oh, here you go. Here's your little doggy stuff. My doggy... <laughs> You know, right off, I can't get it. I'm sorry, another message popped up in our way. Well, I'll so tell you I'm what. Gonna so I'm, gonna... I'm gonna do a shout out to our good friends right now. Okay. Um, Carlin Tex. Okay. Her husband retired after 35 years of the police department. So, to Scott. There it is again. Congratulations. A shout out. So, Mr. Not, Scott, Mr. Scott, we for your service. your service. Yes. And uh, so we look forward to when this, uh, when all this uh, social distancing stuff stops, we look forward to sharing a drink with you. There we go. <laughs> um, under sink storage drawer. We've had these before. They sell very, they very sell well. Great. Yes. Um, local sales. I mean, not something that I would ship. There's not enough money in it. No. But, I mean, that's always a quick, easy. You know, what are these? These are like, what were they around? $25 or I, something like that? I think that? we normally sell them for about 15 bucks a something piece, like I think. That. And they go fast, and I don't blame people. I mean, underneath kitchen or bathroom sinks are always a mess. Two tier shoe organizer rack. Um, oh, that's a hard one. That's nice. Appears to be brand new. I've had that same one before that was used. It appears so I that, think that that'll sell really well. It appears if Mike's keeping his coffee, I might keep this. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's see how well we're going to do out of this. Yeah, because we got to get like 13 bucks out of it. All right. Now, this I was kind of excited I'm for. actually excited, a little bit nervous about the hardware. Um, this is a, see, I don't know if you guys can see it. This Here. is a little I'll seesaw teeter totter kit. There you go. Um, it's obviously brand new. The scary part is all the hardware is just laying loose in here. So, hopefully it's not missing, but these are just basic common nuts and bolts. Well, so, if something's missing, I'll just go through the parts list and um, pick up some hardware at the local this hardware is, store. And this is the problem a lot with, you have to watch with Bed Bath & Beyond, is if there is an item that is missing out of a person, a customer needs an item, they will just go open up a box... Take the item out, and there you go. You got the new box. So if you get a package that is open, um, you definitely want to check and count every piece. You want to make sure, okay? So this being like new, we're going to keep our fingers crossed because we were excited about this. So let's hope that... Oh, I didn't tell you guys. We got some little doggy steps here. That's right, the doggy steps. I we actually said we were probably going to keep those. We have a little chihuahua that um, he's almost... I don't know, what is he, like 14 years old, and uh, he's having trouble getting up onto the couch now, so. I will. You will. I will be right back. Okay. We just I'm actually a, just had a customer pull I, up. Sorry uh, about so, that. No, go ahead. Here, I'll. Go ahead. Uh, Wamasuda pillow. Wow, this must be a really nice. Is this actually the pillow? This is not a real pillow. Is that really a pillow? Hold on. Now, I like how this pillow feels, but what size is this? Oh, and it's this a king is a pillow. pillow. It's actually inside of this. This is a... Okay, this is my pillow. This is actually Forget just the a... shoe rack. <laughs> this is just a bag. So now I want the shoe rack, the doggy steps, and the pillow. Okay, so Better Life All-Purpose Cleaner. 
no clue what that is. We'll set it this over. was the one that said pomegranate. Mm. That's a big bottle of cleaner, though. So catch, when we were setting up for, through grease and grind. When we were setting up for this video, we were trying to figure out what was going to be the best way to position our table uh, because we're doing it different than we normally do, and uh, we're actually getting a lot of big stuff. So I don't know how well this is working. I hope you guys can see this. Um, this is just a, uh, a floor lamp, 71 inch floor lamp, one of those, what do they call it, a torch lamp or something like that. The box was open, but it, it looked like it's never been taken out or assembled. I'm going to set it down here. I think. Be right back. I think you should be able to see it. Okay, let's see what do we got. A folding uh, TV tray table. Um, this is clearly. Um, it's clearly broken right here, so absolutely not like new. Um, I'm just going to set this off to the side. I will probably have to claim that on a on a manifest guarantee. This is a, got a big one here. Hopefully, we got some pretty major package damage. All right. So we'll have to look into this. It's folding Parsons dining chair. You know, I remember seeing that when it was thump. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little thump. concerned <laughs> when you hear a thump with the bottom of the box. If you guys can see, it's just clearly just ripped open. So we don't know if there's anything missing or what. We'll have to definitely have to put some time into looking into that. Um, I will tell you already, this is not like new, it's broken inside. Okay, well that goes so. over with this broken one. Oh! Well, that just became a bummer. What oh. happened? I love Okay, it. just so you guys want to know, this I, is what Terry saw. That is what I saw. Clearly destroyed. I left and I come back and you have broken merchandise. No, unfortunately, that's, it is part of the part of the. Okay, adventure. what do we got? This is a, what little, do we got? a little chair. Okay. Okay, you go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up a little farther. All right, all right. This is cute. Um, packaging wasn't secure, but it does. It does appear to be brand new. Um, has a little rattle, rattling sound. So a little, a little child, toddler, or baby size sits in this. So there you go. Okay, that's cool. That actually it's shouldn't cute. have any that trouble will go quick. That I'll probably go with the size one diapers. So, let me see. I don't think that's going to stay. <laughs> that is not going to stay good up there. Alright. There we go. Okay. We actually, I think we dodged the bullet here. So, you know... You know, when we do our storage lockers, Mike always loads the trailer. I will, unless they're big, heavy items, I will bring him the merchandise out, and he plays Tetris in the storage. I'm the load in, master. In the trailer, and he'll load it all the way up to the ceiling, and it's literally every little nook and cranny filled. You can just see as how I was trying to stack why he does the loading. So look at all of these. This is why I say I think we, we got dodged the bullet. Because nothing we got a leaked. lot of liquid in this pallet and nothing leaked. So thank you, Bulk. Thank it you. It was uh, packaged you, nicely. You kept it all standing up. That was great. So I think it was supposed to be seven drafts. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six going. Do we have a seven? Oh, I don't know if it is. Right. I don't know where it's at. We'll find out here. And there were three more of this uh, all-purpose clear. Okay. Let's there we go. What have we got there. here? Oh, those. These went fast, too. Last time. Those ones are different, though. These are fast track. These go, you have to have the fast track rail system that mounts oh, on your wall. That's okay. it. That's, so that's actually an add-on accessory. I will probably you know, sell those online. Um, the odds of... How many people in our local area already have that rail system mounted But you on know their wall? what somebody could do is still rig it up against their wall probably pretty easy. Oh if you if you need a Jimmy Rig fast track <laughs> let Come me know. see Mike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. 
I'm, I'm curious, what do what does this since it, it belongs to fast this fast track with our sun glare? Uh rubber made fast track accessories are actually pretty spendy. We're gonna find I've had out. some of these before. Twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. Oh, there okay. we go. Alright. It wasn't gold. We just kind of stack them up right okay. here. Okay. And, and then you got a little platform. You got a platform See, Tetris. for not, your not rubber Terry. made. Terry's not Tetris. Brilliant. Rubber made brilliant. All right. Brilliant, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty brilliant right there. Okay. How many are in here? There's Three. four. Oh, wow. What are those containers? Okay. Look at this. Well, we got a couple of pillows. And you all know who've watched our videos in the past, the pillows go really fast. Pillows, pillows, pillows. I think pillows. people doesn't want, don't want to spend the money on them. They don't want to spend $50, $60 and up for a couple of good pillows. You guys watched our contest video. How many pillows did we pull out of that pallet? They were all gone, or out of those couple pallets. They were all gone within, I don't know. Two, I, actually, I think we have one left. That randomly got overlooked and we didn't have it posted. Um, but no, it we, got sold last night. Okay, so they're all gone. We About sold ten all of those pillows except that for that out. one within two days. Yeah. So this is a storage chest, and they were advertising it. I remember with the silverware. So that's that's all it is. It's a chest to store your silverware. The cool thing of it is, you remember that it really nice. nice hundred dollar silverware set we had last week? Yeah. <laughs> We could have sold this with it. I know. Uh, so if you want to feel fancy, there you go. Saboteur knife set. Appears to just be package damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's probably new. It doesn't look probably. like it's actually been opened. So Ter let's let Terry open this. Oh. There's been all kinds of talk in our household about this. Eight ounces of organic oatmeal. So here's the talk. <laughs> Here's the top. When I bought this, I bought this one and three others, three other cases in a matter of like two minutes. Quack, quack. And Mike's phone, he wasn't home, just starts blowing up these messages saying, what are you buying? What are you buying? And I said, well, go look. And the first thing he sees is this. And I said, there's not oatmeal in it. And we look at the manifest and it says it was 50 six dollars or fifty eight dollars for this must check the manifest i i cannot stress the stores enough comparable shopping for anywhere else the stores were 3.99 to five dollars max so but hey 56 dollar oatmeal <laughs> there we are anyone if anybody wants to give us 45 dollars we'll do free shipping <laughs> Turbo jet power washer nozzles to hook up to your hose. Clearly broken half. Oh. Uh, another laundry There's another. So there. there's the seven. Or maybe it was seven of those. I think it was seven of these. And five of those. Okay. Here's a... Here is a... Is that a balance? One balance. Yes, it is. It's a balance. The funny thing it is, I think a I have balance. the same one right now. And so we got that, maybe now we have a pair. Maybe. I hope it's All right. Fine. There you go. All right. Let's see. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty heavy. What's this? It's a towel bar. This package is... Wow. Oh, this goes over a cupboard door. So say if this is your, your cupboard door. Hey, let's hang it on here. Can we? With that flap? I don't know with that. If you maybe you not can. with that flap on there. But with the flap, it would go on your cupboard door like this. And then you could just have your towel hanging. So that would be. Okay. What's this one? What is this? Oh, this was the children's bench. That's right. We are definitely have to check this one. I cannot tell. I'm I'm kind of questioning that. Well, it is. It's open. I started to say I'm questioning that it's been opened and retaped, but I don't know if it's just been opened. So we will double check all the pieces and make sure nothing's broken in in this one right here also. So there's that. We're kind of excited about that one too because children's toy boxes go really fast. Really cool lid. Unfortunately, as you can see, 
something drastically wrong with it. Um, not like new. I mean, it's like new. It's never been used. But uh, it's like broken or broken it's like tweet. new. Yeah. So that is not we'll shelf. Put this over in our. That's not a. In our bad zone. Uh, <laughs> but you got rubber duckies. Here's a brand new set of black. 16 piece stoneware. Where's Terry's? Terry's friendly knife. See how a quick look at this one here. See how it, it glances it. This one looks a quick okay. glance. Um, right off. It looks, they look sealed inside. I was just wondering if there was anything. Make sure nothing looks broken right off. But can, I, can I shake it? You may shake it. Let's shut that back up. And then that's kind of like a 50%. This just kind of will give you an idea. A lot of times if something's broken, you can hear little pieces rattling around. I didn't hear anything. We will pull each we will. each package out and check, check it, it. And make sure. And then we're just going to have to sell it, obviously, now. Open box. So. Six quart roaster. There you go. What is this? This is going to sell really fast. A wood edge. Six. Four. So it's a white little shelf for beauty items or whatever you want to put on it. So that's really cute, and it does. It anchors. It actually anchors to your wall this way. So here's your shelving, and it anchors actually into your wall. Oh, it's got a little lip, so stuff yeah. doesn't slide off. It doesn't slide off, and there's the the holes for the anchoring. Okay. Hey, who heard about so that big go. earthquake in Nevada a couple of days oh ago? Oh my gosh. Um, that was kind of crazy because we actually vacationed down there a lot. And in the place where we vacationed, they felt it pretty good. And so it was a little bit scary because a lot of times we're on like the 24th or 25th floor of the hotel. So um, we've joked about it before, but now it's kind of reality, kind of scary. Well, it's kind of strange too because Idaho had a big earthquake. What is that about six weeks ago or something? So it's put a lot of a lot of relief off of their fault line and a lot of pressure on this fault line. Oh wow, this is this is what is this? Here's an instant sale right here. Here's another panel. It's like a crochet tan panel. Oh, so it's just there you got go. an accent. Yeah. Um, What's that? Right here. Brand new rice cooker. Rice we cooker. always sell rice cookers. Yes. Always. You know, the I items right one. now that would be great to have is the rice cookers. The crock pots, of course, I think would be a good ones. Just because people are still cooking at home a lot. Um, and bread makers still. Oh my gosh, to find bread makers. To find a freezer. I don't know about anywhere else in this country, but to find a freezer in this country. Uh, there are this, no freezers in this available state. in any store around here. No, and I think it is a, I do think it's a country thing out like nationwide. There's a lot of shortage. So, you got your freezer, hold on to it. There you go. Well, we're going to just put rubber duckies. Okay. Now, we'll leave the rubber duckies there. We'll just keep stacking back. Here. So, I got these two what out you for got? here. Oh, we got a scale. Glass scale is gone. Let's see. It is it or is it not like new? Well, it's still in the plastic. It's hard to tell, but it is still. We'll pull it out. And make sure it hasn't been used. But the thing that's cool about this, I hear the is it's called or a, a Rev Digital Scale. I and will. Tell they you. made it look like a tachometer on a car. The batteries are loose. Okay, so it's obviously it's, been used a little bit. It's been used. So at least now, been tried. Exactly. So we'll have to double check this and now see, make sure that it's good or not. We'll test it. Yep. So there we are. What do you got there? It's a little storage drawer. Let me come around here. All right. Let's see. Uh, we'll just put this. Right, you know, we're just gonna lay this one down and uh, squeeze that in there for you. Okay. Here is the. We'll get the storage cabinet out of the way. Just a basic hard plastic storage cabinet. Not a problem. No cracks. It looks like. So that that one will not be a problem. If you see a little glitch there, 
the camera just did a quick shut off and on. We're going to have to adjust the settings somehow. We have now. realized that there is some sort of a weird timer um, in our camera. So, hey, on that note, I didn't say anything to you. But I had an idea. With our $500 that we won from Bolt. Thank I you. I feel like you have an thank idea. You. I want to put like a little picture of a light bulb that just went Ding. off above your head. Ding. With our money that we won, maybe we will invest in a new camera. Uh, so if any of you have some recommendation on a super duper camera that's good for videos, um, you know, send us a message. Yes. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. And I've also been talking to a few people about um, different editing software for video editing. I mean, I'm brand new at this. I'm trying to learn how to do it all. Um, so we're hoping to be able to invest in some software. So if any of you, I actually put in the bottom underneath the video a link to um, PayPal us. So if anybody wants to contribute to the growth of our YouTube channel, and you want to donate a few bucks that we can put towards video software, feel free. We awesome. Would, it would be greatly be appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Send, send Mike a quarter. Send me a dollar. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to label these Mike and Terry. Mike and Terry. No kissy ducks. Quack, quack. There you go. Did you? No, I have one? not done this okay. one yet. Another crock pot, obviously. Just watch it. I didn't. Hey, no, no, what? don't do it. Don't Just do it. <laughs> I didn't tell her that whoever had this before opened the bottom of the box. And we all know <sighs> that Terry is not very good at getting things back in the box the way they come out. No this offense. part's still new. I was. This it, looks damaged I, right there. I think it's okay. I so think we'll, it we'll pull, we'll pull that one out. I think it might just be cheaply made. It might be cheaply made. So <laughs> we'll, we'll double check this one. Now I know I just sitting here. Ooh, this one says fragile. I don't know if I should even touch this one now. Let's see. Fragile. Oh my gosh, I already know who's going to want this one. Toilet paper stalker. It, it's one of those white... That box just cut me. Um, One of those... Oh, and it's been opened. One of those white storage cabinets for just your toilet paper. Okay. Let me... Let's see. Let's see, let's see. And this I, would be great for one of those people that went out and bought like 4,000 4, rolls 000 of toilet rolls. paper. I already know who's going to want this if it's not stupid looking. It's plastic. Oh. No, that's metal. Metal? I don't know. You're that, right. I mean, it sounds very durable, but would it rust? Okay, this is bizarre. It's you know, metal plastic. with a wood front? or That is the... Oh, it is. It's got a little, a little wood panel on the front for design. Fancy. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. Clearly, no good. It's, it's no good. It's it's really all really destroyed on top. The bent li up there's right the there. lid. The, the top. lid's falling in. This yeah. is a, a damaged. We'll put that over in the. Well, I knew a person that might want that, but not now. So yeah, there you go. Put this over Just, in the uh, no good that's area. That's the no good category. Oh, See? what a bummer! This goes back to that conversation. What a bummer with a specific store to you just you you have to just be careful sometimes they're great sometimes they're not chopped foam chopped foam chopped foam pillow with bamboo cover body pillow size with a bamboo cover bamboo cover this could this could go either way this could be an amazing body pillow i know where this is going <laughs> Let's see. Or you want to keep the pillow. You want to keep the dog stairs. You want to keep the shoe rack. The shoe rack. And I think I may need to test out a new body pillow. You want to keep the and, this and, and the then we got oh, one, no, two, two, three, four, and we got five broken items. Oh. I think this pallet is not going to make any money. Well, you know, <laughs> are these thirteen bucks a piece? <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. So, that does feel pretty nice. What else do we got in here? We got one item left. Okay, so before we do this last item, we are going to start a new a new thought we had. We've had people you sometimes ask us questions, you know, on, on our videos, but we've also actually have gotten messaged. They have found us on Facebook and they have messaged us. So, and asking us questions. Or they've asked us, 
message us through different groups asking us questions. So please put your questions. We, we want to start this every video. We will read back a question and we will answer it for you. And whatever it be, usually there are questions with our, with our job, what we do, but go ahead, leave us questions. If there's five questions on a video, we'll pick one or two out. And on the next video, we will read them out and answer those questions. If we get backed up on too many questions, we will do a video once a week of just questions. I so. added our email address in a link directly under this video, uh, MikeTerry'sRetail at gmail.com. Um, just feel free to just click that and just shoot us an email. Uh, you don't have to put the question on the video. Either way, wherever you put the question, we're going to see it. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to answer everybody's questions. Yes. So it's, um, we've been, we've been getting quite a few of them. So it seems like people are interested in knowing what one we our, do. One of our biggest questions that we've gotten, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and just kind of run over it right now, is how do we do our local sales? That's one of our biggest ones we get asked. Mike, you want to tell them how we do our local sales? No, you started. Okay, how would we? <laughs> How do we do, I started this, I better finish this. Okay. How do we do our local sales? Well, one, we have our own group. And the, the it's biggest, a local group and we keep it relatively small. It It is a buy-sell group it is. on Facebook. Um, we created it ourselves. It's a private group. We only bring people in by invite. Yes. And it's generally people that have purchased some from us before that we know are going to show up. Um, we're very selective on who we bring into that group. Since you're bringing people to pick up at your house, we want to. We, we do kind of pre-screen them because it is for our safety of our house, too. So we currently have, I mean, we have hundreds of people in it, and they do keep us busy, and they probably buy 90% of our stuff. I would say 85, 85 to 90% of our stuff. The rest of it is a combination between other uh, buy-sell groups here in our area hey missing one bowl so <laughs> buy sell groups we do a total of 10 buy sell groups in our area for every post so if i'm going to post this now locally missing one bowl <laughs> it's going to go into 10 groups one one of those groups is ours so there <laughs> there it is and then the select items do go to ebay also the other side of that is people have been asking us how we handle payments a lot of people oh, yeah. have tried local sales. They have people that don't show up. They agree to meet somewhere. We don't do any of that. If you want it, you come to our house and pick it up. Mm -hmm. If we agree on it with cash, then we'll agree how to leave the cash. But uh, probably 80 to 90% of ours are electronic payments. Yes. Um, whether it be PayPal or Venmo or whatever it be, um, electronic payments. So... Um, you know, that's just something that we've evolved into. That took that did it took take a lot of years, um, a lot of trial and error, doing yeah. different things. Uh, but that's mostly how we do a lot of our local sales. I know a lot of you guys that do sales probably sell on Mercari and eBay, Poshmark, um, all these other places. Those are all great. We do sell on eBay, but probably I don't know. I at at over 90 percent of our sales are local um, we don't sell anything on ebay that's that we only make two three bucks it's not worth our time with the volume of merchandise that we process so there so, we are let's talk about that last so item the questions there. please go send ahead send your questions send in. your questions in you guys we're excited to start that new chapter so this last item a dish set it is it looks like it's a very nice dish set oh it's elite gibson <laughs> elite so it's 16 pieces it says so we got a 15 piece set missing one bowl this is obviously going to have to probably go to that area because this is not like new because it is missing an item it says on it we will double check that before we would claim that just to make sure you don't want to have a false claim on that so we will double check that first Okay. So, there we go. Are we going to get our 13 and a quarter back out of this? Um, not if Terry's keeping everything. And, uh, 
Let's see. Again, we paid seven thirty-three for this stuff. I'm not sure, so sure how this is going to work out. I don't. But you do, you don't always win on everything. You do not always win. Um, you don't. Sometimes you have great slam dunk ones, and there's other times you're like, "Wow, I did all that work for two hundred dollars." But that's how that's resale. There you go. You don't. Yep. Yeah, you don't always win. So. No, you don't. <laughs> so, all right. We. I like to thank everybody that watched this video all the way to the end. Um, yes, I know this was you. kind of a long one. We don't normally do them this long. So thank you so much, thank you very much. for watching all the, all the way to the end. Um, if you liked it, um, you must have liked something because you made it all the way to the end. <laughs> Click like on it. Um, subscribe to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, we've got lots more coming. I think we counted yeah. this week. We had this pallet and somewhere around 10 cases coming in this just this week. So definitely subscribe, and we'll have lots more coming for you. Yes. Um, there's links underneath the video to go to our eBay listings, our Facebook business page, um, as well as our PayPal um, for, you know, if you want to support our channel. And yep. the last one is our Gmail account, so you can send those questions in. There you go. Did and we cover keep, everything? Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Keep laughing you in life. You always have to laugh. Keep laughing in life. It, it makes life better. It does. All right. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.